All right, so uh, let's get back to the big picture, some of the themes that will drive markets this week, but also today. Peter McGuire from XM joining us live via Skype. Peter, welcome. Good morning to you. I hope you're staying dry there. Uh, I thought I'd start with oil because some really big moves on Friday with uh, oil futures up by 2%. That's Brent, 2.4 for WTI. But, it, but even those gains on Friday did fail to make up for those losses that we saw over the week. So what are you expecting now? Well, good morning, Nadine. Good morning, Andrew. Yeah, that Thursday washout was fairly severe, down around about 7 or 8%. And that really took the market, I think, by surprise due to the, the viciousness of it, Nadine. So that uh, anything that uh, you know, falls that heavily, you're going to see a bounce to the upside. And that's what we experienced Friday. So up a couple of percent, maybe a little bit further over the next matter of a day or two. So it's easy money to be made. And uh, that US dollar, I'm keeping an eye on that also. All right, more broadly, uh, Pete, uh, just as far as the United States is concerned, we're going to hear again from uh, Chairman Powell this week. Uh, he's testifying before Congress, yep. along with other Fed board members uh, throughout the week. So lots of commentary. Do you think that's likely to change market sentiment at all? Because obviously when we're seeing those bond yields continue to rise, essentially questioning the credibility of the Fed at this point. Well, exactly, Andrew. And what's the forecast as far as that inflation? And they're saying that there's nothing to worry about. But as you look out on the horizon, one's got to put a you know, mind over matter and say energy prices are higher, input costs are higher. So, you know, the consumer's being hit. So it might be sooner than 2024 or late 23 as far as rate rises. Do we see something towards the middle of next year? I'm keeping an eye also as far as Eurozone, that US dollar. And what's happening as far as softness across that eurozone with vaccines and their continued lockdown so the us seems to be coming out quicker uh you know in a 21 perspective than eurozone if you put them from a comparison and that's where that us dollar and the us economy i think is going to take you know fairly strong uplift from here over the next matter of months but there is not any major economic data out this week, not just in the U.S. I mean, we do get some second tier data, but around the sure. Asian region as well. I mean, I believe that we do get uh, industrial production coming through in China. But otherwise, you've got to think that the focus will be on all of the Fed speak that's to come. I think there's 10 in the next uh, few days. Exactly right, Nadine. So that's going to be, you know, we're all um, hanging on every word as far as that's concerned and whether we see a further push up as far as US equities or do they just, you know, continue to be that range bound? The Nasdaq was up, you know, that was a nice push up on Friday night. If you're looking at that from a trading perspective, it was up three quarters of a percent. You had the Dow down three quarters of a percent. So that um, shone some light on that one. I'm also keeping an eye on Eurozone PMIs. You've got the services PMIs and manufacturing coming out. So they're not bad uh, indicators as far as that Eurozone and what's happening there. And Yes, as you mentioned, uh, the Fed, US, and what's happening across the Asia region. It does look pretty dire in the Eurozone at the moment, though, doesn't it? Not particularly as far as I their struggle, so. struggles with the vaccine, you know, just where, they are, where they're at economically. Yeah, exactly right, Andrew. I do a breakfast show into there each day, and, you know, nine o'clock into Europe, and everyone's on the chat saying, you know, lockdown, we're sick of it. Um, what's happening with the vaccines? So the general um, sense of, not only uncertainty, but certainly quite a dismal uh, feeling across that whole sector from the young and the old as far as the trading the population. Hopefully spring is going to be sprung and we'll see not only with better weather, but a different circumstances over this uh, next matter of months for the Eurozone and tourism, which is a big component of their overall general health. Okay, so traders this morning here in Australia keeping their eye on Asian markets as they come to life, U.S. futures. And yep. uh, what in the commodities complex, Peter? What else? Well, as we spoke of, Nadine, I think there's a couple of percent to be made out of crude, easy money, maybe over the next, you know, 12 to 36 hours. So keep an eye on that, Brent and WTI. Gold's back at 1743. It's been whipsawed all over the place. So... If you see a break as far as equities, there could be a push up on the gold sector. Grains are always interesting. And I think that's enough to start with to start your week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> always good to start the week with you. Peter McGuire from XM. Have a good one. Thank you, Nadine. Thank you, Andrew. Cheers.